Levon Arionen faces a huge upset from Robert Ohanisan, who is actually 200 points rated less than Aronian. And Aronian starts with the White Beasts. It's the Twins Gambit set up on the board. And it's the Twins Gambit decline variation. And Black goes for casting on the king side. Pawns are exchanged in the center. Bishop to d3 by Aronian. Pawn push to c6, castles on the king side. Bishop to g4 pins the knight, queen b3, certainly capture the pawn here. So he brings his queen out, but he would even go for the capture and mess up the pawn structure. Aronian uses the opportunity to bring the knight to e5 and attacks the bishop. But it's supported by the knight. Black brings his last piece into the board, and the position is equal after 10 moves. Ronin still got to develop his dark square bishop. F4 is pushed. So in case of a capture, you can capture with the pawn hitting the knight and it will also activate the white rook on the f-file. This light square bishop is well placed attacking the h7 pawn already. It goes for the queen trade, pawn recaptures and now his rook on a file is active. D6 is pushed. Let's go for H file later on. Bring the king up the board. Push the pawn. If required, H three hits the bishop, bishop to F five with the support of the pawn here so if you capture recapturing with the pawn will open up the king black king he goes for the capture recaptures with the pawn creating this double pawn isolated pawn knight to e2 probably looking to bring the knight to g3 attacking this isolated pawn captures the knight and goes for the knight trade, pawn recaptures, knight comes in and this pawn is captured, after the pawn push, this pawn is captured and uh, bishop recaptures and knight comes to c3, the blitz is out, a lot of moves here.
knight to d6 and after 20 moves the position is still equal bishop d2 a6 rook to f1 attacking the bishop bishop g7 Rook f3, bringing the rook up the board. Rook e8 and king f1, h5. Rook bishop to e1 and king to h7. Bishop g3. So it's a good move, good to bring the dark square bishop back into the game because it was not doing anything back down here so captures pawn recaptures creating this isolated pawn for black so he brings the rook to f7 pinning the bishop and also attacking the weak backward pawn So, bishop uh, recaptures after the rook trade. Kings, black king is close to the center now. The position is still equal, so there is nothing to be worried about Aronian as of the moment. was best to bring the bishop to b4 black would have been better than bishop d6 bishop g7 bishop f4 now bishop f6 it was best to bring the bishop to d6 bishop e7 Now the bishop, black bishop infiltrates. Now this is a mistake. The best was to bring the king back to g3. Now they are literally down to the last 10 seconds. So they are just blitzing out all the moves. Uh, black is better now. clients that trade blacking is going into the other side of the board Lavan Aronian designs and a huge upset by Robert who is rated 200 points less than Aronian here. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more such videos.